Here we are. Here we are today. Uh, I thought I'd do a, a knife review. I got a pair of these here Kershaw folding blades. This one, there's an interesting story behind this one. This one is a Kershaw 3160 crown. But this one here sells for um, $22.49 on Amazon. Right, it's uh, you know, the blade is a HCR 13 MOV with a satin finish on the handle. Right, steel polished micarta, that's what the handle is. This one is black, it comes in two colors, black and blue. It looks like layered wood, it really does, but it's basically, you know, like Bakelite or something. Right, the liner locks, as you can see, and it's an open manual with a thumb stud, right, single position lock clip, you know, pocket clip. On this one, the clip is broken off. Uh, it's been broken for a while, right? Uh, the blade length is three and a quarter inches. This one has been broken, so it's like about three inches, right? The closed length all together is four and a half inches, right? And the overall length with the blade open, right, is seven and a half inches, right? Now, yeah, I got this adjusted to my style right here because I'm a left-hander, you know what I'm saying? See, so, right? It's a little stiff right now because I just tightened it all up. Uh, you want to make sure that your blade stays tight right here and saying it doesn't wobble too much. The real cool thing about these Kershaw knives is the frame lock right here. This is a very positive lock. It does not give in. You get it adjusted right on this torque screw right here. Yes, they're torques. This is a big one, these two little ones. And then the clip ones is torques. Right? You get it adjusted right, I'm saying you could you could kill a bear with this if you had to. Right? Um, I acquired this knife because somebody left it on top of my workstation at the house, right? And I expressly told people, I even left a note, and I said, don't leave your shit on my workstation. If you do, I'm going to throw it away, or I'm going to keep it, right? So I'm going to say one more time. James, if you want your knife back, come get it, right? You didn't deserve this knife anyway. This knife is way better than you, right? But anyways, I mean, it's all stainless steel. Right, 3160, like I said, it's got an HCR 13 MOB, fucking stainless, you know, this stuff is high, I mean, it's, this thing's razor sharp, I sharpen these things razor sharp, I mean, this one, because it's broke, you can see, I had, you know, I went over with the grinder a little bit, because I had to cut, the, I had to bring the top back down, um, when I first got here to Norman's, um, this knife somehow ended up missing, it disappeared, and it was gone for like about a week, 10 days, and then one day, I, you know, Norman found it and the tip was broke off and it looked like it had some dried residue on it, right? And uh, so I swabbed it, cleaned it, dunked it in some gasoline and some alcohol. The micarta didn't fade or didn't rust. There was a little bit of a rough edge right here, like somebody dragged it or something, right? But other than that, I'm saying it's the same old Kershaw, 3160 crown. This is a good solid knife right here, right? I love it. Here, watch. Yeah, buddy. Now, this one, right, Norman gave me. No, found it actually in the motor bus. This one here, right, is an awesome little knife. This one is a Kershaw 1660. Wait a minute, let me get it back up. This one is a 1660 Leak, right? This one is seriously awesome, right? right. This one has got, right? Speed safe assisted opening. Watch, see, see the little nub right here? You can either do it with the thumb stub, see the little nub? Yeah, look at that one. This one is a 1660, right? Cal patented. This one is also been broken, right? But uh, this one was broken when we found it, right? So apparently the same person had both of these knives at one time or another. So I ground this one down again and then sharpened I don't like touching this one because this one is like virtually new and it's pretty razor sharp. I mean, this one will shave the hair on your leg, on your hand. Woo, yeah. But this one is awesome. It's got this clip. The cool thing about this one is that the clip is reversible, right? We left handed, right handed, right? Um, it's also got the uh, patented Kershaw frame lock, right? These things are positive. They are seriously cool, right? The cool thing about this one is, is that you see this little button right here? This is the safe. Right, but unfortunately, since the knife, see this is safe off, all the way back, this is safe on, all the way front. Unfortunately, because I had to regrind the tip, the safe doesn't work anymore, see? 
Right? It's really fast, it's really light. This one's got a stainless steel, let's see. It's got a sand Sandvik 14 C28 and bead blasted finish. Right? The blade length is three inches. Well it's about three and you know seven eighths now. Close length is four inches, but the overall length is seven inches. When it's open. The weight is three ounces. Made five grams. This one is made in USA. This one is made in China land. Right? Right, so it's right there on the blade, see? China land. That's what makes these. Now this one's a little bit heavier. This one's probably like about 105 grams or so. You know what I'm saying? And they both have, if you notice, they both have the hole for the lanyard. So there's two ways to carry this. Right? Now, this one sells for $39.54 on Amazon. It's a genuine Kershaw. This one is a genuine Kershaw. Uh, well, you can't see it anymore because it's ground up on the blade. But right, these are two of the best folding knives that I've had in a long time. Right, yes, I use my knives to work with, to cut with, to do just about anything. Hell, I was cut up the on I cut up the onion and the garlic with this one. Right, uh, Kershaw is my brand. That's the ones I like. It's the ones my grandpa had when he was, you know, when I was young. He gave me a little. I got a little two-blade pocket knife Kershaw that my grandpa gave me when I was little. I still have it. It's in my bag somewhere, and I got a big one, a three-blade, like the old style, you know, Tom Mix pocket knives. I swear by these. Kershaw is the stuff right here. You need a knife, right? You don't want to spend a lot of money. You need something that's gonna perform in a pinch, right here. Right, left-handed, right-handed, it don't matter. Right, they're smooth, they're click, click tough. You know what I'm saying? The blade holds a serious edge all day long. And the really cool thing is that they use standard torch bits. I mean, look, you think I'm kidding? This is the torch key that I'm using right here to tighten up both of these knives. See, look, look, fits this one. Uh, fits this one. Right, there it is. See? Standard torque bit. I think this one is the smallest one is a T10. Mm, that's this one. That's the one I'm using right here. T10, right? Right on the Husky. Right? Stark, you know, torque key set. Alright, so anyway, like I was saying, you need a knife, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, Kershaw is your brand, I'm telling you. These are great for hunting, sporting, you know, fighting, you name it. Cooking. Right, you know, canning a hide, you know, skinning a deer, you name it, right, you know, right, whatever you need, right, you need one, Kershaw, I'm telling you right here, look, Kershaw, this one is the 1660, right, onion, or the leek, it comes in two versions, the 1660X and the 1660, this one is the 3160 Kershaw crown, comes in two colors, remember, black and blue, it's me, Brian. Oh, homeless guy, talking about my knives today. <laughs> yeah, James, anytime. I'll give it to you. I will. Just come get it. Be brave enough to come get it. Thank you.